Hello and well, welcome to my channel. It's Seed in the Sand, Kathy's Corners. Um, this chapter is the Gillian Barre Miller Fisher Syndrome, uh, and this is chapter number nine, eight, I believe. Sorry, I don't know. Yeah, I think it's eight. And um, so I'm going to do two more, um, two more after today, and. Um, I apologize for not getting the people on the channel that I wanted to get on the channel. Um, you know, it's just, lives get busy and, um, we haven't been able to connect. Um, so maybe in the future I will have something, uh, with, um, my brother's children, um, to kind of just ask some questions like I do with Phil, you know, how's it going? What's, what's your opinion on what's happening and um you know if there's anything that you want to share with someone else who might be in a similar spot um somewhere down the line so i will just continue to do my thing and um i want to you know just give a, a shout out um to anybody out there who feels alone i mean like totally alone whether that be drugs, um, and health, um, abandonment, um, mental illness, um, you know, if it be, you know, family issues or, um, you know, there, there could be so many. In my case, it's, um, isolation um, from society because of a charge that I had in 2009 which is about 15 years ago and um, it's really kind of affected my life um, in a negative way and nobody understands how much it's affected me but me because I'm the only one that has to like, I think the only people that would really understand what I feel like um, when somebody judges me due to words like mental defect, uh, mental disease, um, would be someone who um, deals with child pornography or, um, you know, sex offenders. Um, they're, they're labeled. I mean... It doesn't matter the circumstances that they were in at whatever time in their lives they were doing whatever it is that they were doing. Um, there's different factors for everyone, of course. Um, but in my case, it, it's like, it's almost like a kiss of death. And there isn't a lot of getting around the corner. Um, unless people don't look you up on public record. Or unless um, people are just open-minded and caring and want to give you a chance and I remember there was one employer that said um, I don't see you for your past I see you for your present and I thought wow not many people see me that way and we became very close um, and she was my manager and uh, my supervisor and um, we had a great relationship and I will always appreciate her in that interview telling me that she didn't see me for my past. She saw me for my present and um, and I, I wish that for everyone. To see me for who I am today, not for what I might have gone through in my past. Um, because everybody's got a past. Everybody's got shameful things to be embarrassed about or um, to work through. Um, so, yeah. So, I, I just give people credit who see people for their presence. The present moment. And this present moment they are truly seen for who they are and um 
So I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I know this was supposed to be about my brother, but it turned out to be about myself. Um, so yeah, I, oh shoot, I dropped a bunch. Hold on. Um, I believe that my brother is also in that same boat where nobody understands what he's going through. Nobody can comprehend the magnitude of frustration that he must be feeling and how he feels so alone and how he feels like this is the end of his life. And it's not the end of his life. It's not. And people shouldn't judge him and shouldn't stigmatize him as being, you know, like somebody that's, that's, you know, his life is over because it's not, it's not over. So, all right. The bottom card, since some of them fell, was the eight of wands, which it means uh, movement, action, fast, uh, fast energy. And we're just going to do one quick card for, um, for you and me, my brother, Phil, whoever, anybody out there who's feeling all by themselves, it's the Six of Cups, if you can see that. Um, there you go. It's two little children. Um, offer, one is offering a cup to the other. And it's um, usually about childhood memories or children or um, different um, aspects of childhood um, togetherness and happiness. And I remember as a kid, I just really twirled and twirled and twirled and I lived in my imagination and and it was such a an amazing time in my life and um yeah so that's what I wish for you is uh, that amazing childhood memory that you just twirling you're free you you're you're free to do whatever it is in life you want to do um yeah so I wish you all the best and we will talk to you tomorrow